Good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Tom Yamas, and we begin tonight with the director of the CIA taking aim at the president-elect with a stern warning about Russia and about Mr. Trump's own words. This is a conflict is growing over the inauguration just five days away. Representative John Lewis announcing he will boycott, questioning the legitimacy of Donald Trump's presidency. The president-elect retaliating with a blistering series of tweets accusing the congressman of being all talk, no action. Vice President-elect Mike Pence hoping Congressman Lewis will reconsider. But tonight, the man who stood up to the police many times in the 1960s is standing his ground once again, and a growing number of colleagues are standing with him. ABC's David Wright is at Trump Tower tonight. Tonight, the president-elect is facing sharp criticism from the outgoing CIA director. What I do find outrageous is uh, equating an intelligence community with Nazi Germany. I do take great umbrage at that. Trump took umbrage at that. Tonight, calling on the intelligence chiefs to apologize for lending credibility to a salacious conspiracy theory that Russia has compromising material on Trump. Well, I, I, what I think Mr. Trump has to understand is that this is more than being about him. And it's about the United States and our national security. The CIA director even suggested that Trump doesn't have a full grasp of the issues. I don't think he has a full an appreciation of Russian capabilities, Russian's intentions and actions. It's the second war of words for the president-elect this weekend. The other between Trump and a man who's been called the conscience of the Congress. That other fight started when Congressman John Lewis told an interviewer he'd boycott Trump's swearing-in ceremony at the Capitol. I don't see this president-elect as a legitimate president. Trump hit back hard, calling Lewis all talk, 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 no action or results. Attacking one of the living links to Dr. King's dream, a man who braved the billy clubs crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Trump's criticism launched on Martin Luther King weekend, no less, prompted an outpouring of umbrage. I understand why John Lewis feels the way he does. Um, this is a very fearful and divided nation right now. Now at least 19 Democrats are skipping the inauguration, some of them citing Trump's response to Lewis as the reason. I hope that John Lewis and some others who have joined uh, his plans uh, to, uh, to take a pass on the inauguration will rethink that, will be I with us. Today, Vice President-elect Mike Pence pleaded for peace. You remember that great line, what the heck do you have to lose? What the hell do you have to lose? He is committed to being president of all of the people of this country and to bringing jobs and prosperity in ways that, that the, the failed liberal policies of the last several generations have not. Tomorrow, Trump was scheduled to visit the Smithsonian's new Museum of African American History and Culture, a museum that owes its very existence to Lewis. It's a visit that's now canceled. Altogether, not an auspicious start to Inauguration Week. Tom? A major change in the schedule. Still a busy week for the president-elect. All right.